the gist of the talk. Okay, so he doesn't, he doesn't even want to listen to the answer of his own question. So I'll, I'll answer his question. No, it's okay. It's okay, JC, let me answer his question. What was the question? So the question was, what was the gist of the talk? The gist of the talk was what Christians need to do to turn the situation around in the West. What it needs you, my brothers and sisters, to do to turn our retreat in the West into a victory. That was the gist of the talk. I literally just gave a talk on it, sir. I'm sorry you missed it. So, any other questions about Christianity? No, let him ask the question, JC. Am I an Israelite? As a Christian? I'm going to answer that question. I was answering your question. So, I am answering your question, sir. So, as a Christian, I believe that the church is grafted onto the vine of Jesse. So we are, I'm, I'm going to explain that to you. If, you. if you allow me to answer your questions, you'll, you'll hear an answer. So grafted, it's a, an agricultural term that's used in, in, in agriculture. What it means is you cut the tree, the, the bush, down to its stub, its root. Then you cut a notch into that root and then you put another set of branches from another plant into that root and you graft them together and then the two seal and the new branches are fed by the old root. So the church is grafted into Israel and therefore by adoption as a Christian I believe I'm an Israelite. And the Bible, New Testament. You'll just have to ignore him, he's a heckler. All stories fabricated by men. When, when you, all of them. When you include when you all of them. You the Torah. You just have to ignore him. <laughs> then, unfortunately, any other questions? Bro, you're just going to have to ignore him, he's a heckler. Don't feed the troll, please. He's man made. There is no revelation. You just there got to no ignore place. him, bro. Last chance. It cannot be that God sent Gabriel or whatever uh, to another some, person telling you, another. I tell you what your secret is true. and what you said to other people. This is a, a joke. Original All religion. Well, when you graph, usually you're taking. Men. I mean, we I'm not an agriculturalist, so I can't God. answer that question as an agriculturalist. Sir, I'm not an agriculturalist. I cannot fanatic. answer that question, but He's I would suspect man, that it would Without produce one, the fruits according fanatic. to its original they branches. So the but I'm not an agriculturist, I might be wrong. I'm probably right. wrong. Right. You happen to be right. So the tree did not produce another, the tree of the Jews yeah. or the Israelites did not produce another Israelite. So I am not Israelite. So the point, the door, not so the point, the point that, that, that let, me, let me just address that point, sir. Because huh? in the cri oh sister, all you're doing is feeding this troll. Yeah, no, just Torah, ignore him, men, please. Torah, just ignore him, religion, because now Torah, he'll talk more. My religion, the Torah, so, the Torah, sir. In terms of the fruits of the Christian faith, the fruits of the Christian faith are the fullness of the Jewish faith, and you can see this. You can see this if you look at the laws of Israel, the moral laws of Israel. The moral law of Israel can be summed up in two phrases. To love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your mind and with all your strength. And to love your neighbor as you love yourself. Now, how do you love your neighbor? You don't steal from them. You don't defame them. You don't covet after their good deeds. You don't lie about them. You don't murder them. You don't commit adultery. Like you love. Okay. And by loving, you love for their good. No, let me finish. You, yeah, you, 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 yes. I know that, but what, what I want to know is, are you an Israelite? And I've just explained. You are not an Israelite. That's your opinion. It doesn't matter to me. It doesn't? doesn't your, your opinion does not matter to me. What the Bible says matters to me. And what the Bible says is that Gentiles and Jews are adopted together into the same family. We become citizens together in the heavenly kingdom. This means that we have a shared citizenship. 
We have a shared priesthood because Jews and Christians. That means Gentiles. That means Gentiles. The Gentiles. The Gentiles. The Gentiles and the Jews, when they become Christians, they become part of the same royal priesthood. This is what the scriptures teach. I don't need your permission to believe that. Your commentary is neither required nor needed for what I believe. A religion is not is finishing. I agree. I don't need your opinion. I don't need your opinion or your commentary. And so vice versa. We are only trying to discuss. Yeah. Yeah. I don't need your What is the future? No, no, no one's being aggressive. You've asked a question. I've answered it. No way. You're just coming out with a silly argument. Science. You're just coming Love. out with a silly argument. No, that's yes. the only... Sex. Like all Islamic arguments, they're just silly arguments. Your arguments are coming from an attempt to pick out individual verses, ignore the context, ignore the wider teaching of the New Testament, and it's what Dai do in this part all the time. Your brain is not working. Right, when the scriptures teach, when the, go on. You give me an example. Okay, so, Jews are the children of God because God adopted Israel as his son. Gentiles. No, 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 I'm, I'm giving you an example. I'm giving you an example. Right? Gentiles, through Christ, are also adopted as Man, children of God. Of now, if the, one second, one second. If the Jews are adopted as children of God, and the Gentiles are now adopted as children of God, what's the difference between them? I am asking you, what does adopted mean? Adopted means that you are not the son by birth, but you are the son by the fact that the father takes you into his household. Yes, that's a Christian concept of adoption. And that's what that's what happened to Israel, and it's what happened to the Gentiles through Christ. So now let me ask you a question. Given what I've just said, what's the difference between the Jews and the Gentiles? How could I ask the synagogue and the church? No, given what I've just said. Ask the synagogue and the church. No, I'm asking you. Why are you afraid to answer a question? Why? Why? Okay, let, since you don't want to talk about my religion when I'm asking you a question about my religion, let me ask you a question about your religion. Let me ask you a question about your religion. Okay, let's, let's move away from this guy. I'd like to ask you a question about Islam. Okay. What's your name, sir? Abulai. 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 Nice to meet you, Abulai. My name is Bob. This is fucking Christian. Bob is a known Muslim hate. And you're a known liar. On, you're, no, you're a known liar. No, 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 you're an Islamist come who wants on, to turn Christians. On, you're a known liar. No, you're, you're an Islamist who wants to turn no Christians. You no, literally don't. just insulted me just then. And we just you caught you on Muslims. camera. Come on. No, bro, that's your lie uh, about me. You that's about your lie Islam. about me. Let's see. We and and we know you hate Christians, bro, Come in your on, heart. Mom, we know you're Christian. Christian. We know you, you, hate you hate Christians. How can I hate Christians? So, let's look at this. Bear with us one second. So, I'd like you to ask you about Surah 35, verse 18. So, let's go to Surah 35, 18. I'm a mix, I'm a, I'm a Jew. I'm okay. A Jew. Uh, Bear with us one second. So in Surah 30, oh that's 33, it does help if I go to the right part, sorry about that. In Surah 35, 18, states this, Nor can a bearer of burdens bear another's burden, if one heavy laden should call another to bear his load, not the least portion of it can be carried by the other, even though he is nearly related. What, 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 what does no, no, no. mean? What does that back. mean? Talking to, to him. That. You're a liar. I don't want to talk to you. What, do you, what does it mean to you? Yeah. Well, I'm asking you. Well, I want no, to know you. No, no, no. You asked me a question about Christianity. Go on, Uncle. I'm 
us, I want us to, what, is, what does it mean to you? So if it that means the same to me, we will, I will say you are right. Okay, I'll, I'll just read what the commentary says then. So the commentary on this passage, bear with me. So the commentary on this passage states this. Natural relationship may be considered a reasonable cause of opportunity of bearing each other's burden. For example, a mother or a father might offer to die for her or his child and vice versa. But this does not apply to spiritual matters. There the responsibility is strictly personal and cannot be transferred to another. I don't know who, tra who said this commentary. Uh, this commentary, I believe, was given by Abdullah Yas Yusuf Ali or okay. possibly okay. Ibn Kathir. Let me tell you. Yeah. I am not responsible for the whatever my son does. Yeah. Therefore, I am not going to die for him, nor is he going to die for me. Right. So do you believe on Judgment Day? Yeah. Do you believe, for instance, as we Christians believe, that one person can die for the sins of another? Do you believe that another person can suffer for the sins of another? No. Do you believe that a person should be judged because of the sins no. of another? Or punished in hell because of the sins no. of another? Right. So now let me ask you about this hadith. This is a joke. So, yeah. Let me just pull up this hadith. Right, bear with us. <clears throat> so it's found in Sahih al Muslim 2767, and it refers to the fact that on Judgment Day, um, bear with us. Let's see if I can actually get the hadith because I got the reference, but let me see if I can find you the hadith itself. Go ahead. Right, let me, let, I'll just read it. So I'm reading from a, an Islamic website called Islamka, right? What's the number? Islam, what? the, the hadith is, it's given as, and there's different numbering the number. systems, remember that. So the, the hadith is given as Sahih al Muslim 2767. What? 2767. I might actually be able to find it. Bear with us one second, please. Only matcha tea. Cheers. My, my all gods bless you. I wish you one day when you die, you find that you were silly and you never you did your research uh, good one so in, here we go following the tradition right. of the so the Islamic reference is sahih muslim 2767 and here's the hadith bearing in mind what you just said says when it will be the day of resurrection allah would deliver to every muslim a jew or a christian and say that is your rescue from hellfire I've just given it to you. Show, show that to me. Yeah, here. I will read the, the text. What is it? حدثنا أبو بكر من الشيبة حدثنا أبو أسامة عن طلحة عن أبي بردة أنا أبي موسى قال قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم إذا كان يوم القيامة دفع الله عز وجل إلى كل مسلم يهودي أو نصرانيا فيقول هذا مكانك من النار. He, he, yeah. Yes, so you just said to me that the Quranic verse states that no one should be punished for another but in the hadiths Muhammad said that Allah is going to use Jews and Christians to rescue Muslims. Isn't that a contradiction? No. Go and explain why it isn't a contradiction. It, it, says, it says that uh, some, some, yeah, that's, that's the first thing, it's some, not all of them. The Muslim. And the second thing, the explanation of the hadith, that these people from the non-Muslims have 
initiated these problems, these sins, and because the Muslims followed, did that, because the initiation was from the kuffar themselves, from the non-believers. So that's why they are punished. Not all of them, no. they are punished let's, for that. Let's just look at what these hadith state. Let's just look at what these hadith state. Are you listening? Are you listening? I'll read it to you. No Muslim would die, but Allah would admit in his stead a Jew or a Christian in hellfire. Umar Abd al-Aziz took an oath by one who besides whom there is no God, but he thrice that his father had narrated that to him from Allah's messenger. So when it says to put a Jew or a Christian in your stead, what does that mean? What do you not know? Yeah, I know. Right. Can I respond also? Well, Adnan, Adnan, you're going to jump in anyway, so you might as well. Yeah. Yeah. So, but, but don't complain if I jump into your conversations in the future. No I'm, I'm, if you don't want me to talk to you... I'll come and talk to you separately if you want. I'm not taking Okay, I'll come and talk to you separately. If you show me manners, I'll show you manners. Yeah, no right. I, so, I so, so, I'm... I think it's a general... Well, what? Because, because I'm asking him to stay out of a conversation? So why can't you answer this question? I will answer the question. Go on. We use the language you are showing manner. This is not an atmosphere. I want to start. Well, I'm afraid, Uncle, uh, uh, many of the, the Dai in this corner, they interrupt my conversations when I'm having decent conversations. So he doesn't want to. That's fine. That's fine. So, what does it mean to put someone in his stead?